Since inventing the first hard rock tunnel boring machine more than 50 years ago, the Robbins Company has expanded its capabilities to include small diameter machines for utility tunneling. Today, Robbins offers a full line of small boring units, or SBUs, for both hard rock and mixed ground conditions. Robbins takes into consideration all of the project variables including ground conditions and crossing length, as well as line and grade requirements before recommending a machine for your project. The Robbins Rockhead is an advanced small diameter tunneling machine that can accurately excavate long utility crossings. This video explains how Robbins Rockheads work and why they are the tool of choice for utility contractors worldwide. The Robbins Rockhead is available in diameters from 54 to 78 inches or 1.4 meters to 2 meters and is capable of boring crossings from 300 feet to over 1500 feet or 90 to over 450 meters long. The Rockhead design is a small version of larger diameter tunnel boring machines. The machine consists of a shield body and circular cutter head mounted with single disc cutters. The machine is available in either a single shield or double shield configuration. The double shield rockhead is self-propelled using a gripper system, while the single shield rockhead must be used with a pipe jacking system or primary liner. Here, a 66 inch or 1.7 meter diameter double shield rockhead is being readied for a 650 foot or 200 meter long road crossing in Calgary, Canada. Excavation begins in a launch pit or shaft. This shaft measures about 20 feet wide by 35 feet long or 6 meters by 11 meters and is 40 feet or 12 meters deep. The rock cutter head was specially designed for ground consisting of shale and mudstone. The cutter head is mounted with single disc cutters 11 and a half inches in diameter. Disc cutters for the rock head range from 6 and a half inches to 14 inches in diameter and are capable of excavating rock strengths from 4,000 to over 25,000 psi or 25 to over 175 MPA. In mixed ground, other cutter head configurations are used. Large openings called muck buckets are designed to scoop up and transfer rock chips from the tunnel face. During a push, the double shield rockhead generates torque using internal drive motors. Gripper pads, seen here as blue rectangles on the side of the machine, grip against the tunnel walls to react to boring forces. Thrust cylinders then advance the machine forward. Robbins rockheads can be used with a variety of types of primary liner, such as the reinforced concrete pipe seen here, as well as steel casing and four flange liner plate. As the cutter head turns, the disc cutters make contact with the rock face. The cutters move in concentric circles. As the force on the cutter head increases, the rock beneath each cutter is crushed and fractured. Eventually, these fractures meet and rock chips break away from the tunnel face. This process is known as kerf cutting. To steer the rock head, an operator utilizes articulation cylinders, adjustable from within an operator's console inside the machine's rear shield. Line and grade are monitored throughout the drive using a laser targeting system. Spoils are transferred through the muck buckets onto a machine belt conveyor that travels through the center of the machine and empties into a muck car or skip for removal by crane. Other options for muck removal include an invert auger or vacuum system. As the rockhead excavates, new casing lengths are bolted or welded to the previous casing. The pipe jacking unit generates forward thrust to advance lengths of casing behind the machine. At the end of a bore, the rockhead breaks through and is removed. The primary liner provides a line tunnel in which to lay the carrier pipe. Robbins SBUs have been proven by hundreds of contractors around the world, from natural gas pipelines in the United Kingdom, to water tunnels in Rajasthan, India, to gravity sewers in Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. Robbins the most trusted name in tunneling.